Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in 3ds Max for beginners. I am architect Sonu Rai from Gladys Studio and in this today video tutorial I am going to teach you how to create windows in 3ds Max. So if I am going to my geometry tab here, I will select this list and you can find window tool here. Just below doors and knob surface. So I am going to select windows and you can see there are some types of windows like awning, casement, fixed windows, pivoted windows, projected windows and sliding window. So if you are not familiar with this, uh, you can refer some images here. So if I am going to select this one, you can see this is the awning window and I hope everyone must be familiar with this and this is the casement window and if you go to the next slide, you can see this is the fixed window, this is the pivoted window and this is the projected window and this is sliding window like a sliding door. So we will create all these basic shapes in 3ds Max using window tool. So I am going to select windows here and you can see there is first window here that is awning so i am going to select awning here and click this and you can create uh, using this creation method and i am going to select this first method you can refer my door tutorial and i am going to select width oblique depth oblique height so first you are required to define width then depth and then height so i am going to first define width so with the left mouse click i will click once here and you are required to press this mouse and then you are required to define width and leave your mouse click once and then go backward to define depth then click once and then move upwards to define height so this is the creation of this window and i am going to press all w to see my perspective mode here and now i am going to define height here so I will change, suppose my height of the window is 4 feet, so this will become 4 feet and width also I am going to make it 4 feet and width I am going to make it 2 inches. So this is the window and if you will go uh, down here you can see this is the frame, so horizontal width is 0 feet, vertical width 0 feet and thickness is 0 feet. So I am going to make it one inch here and you can see this is the frame and vertical width also i am going to make it one inch so you can see this is the one inch and now thickness also we can make it one inch likewise so if i am going to my glazing you can see this is thickness is zero here and now i am going to make the thickness as two inches so you can see this is the glazing thickness is changing so I will make it 1 inch only and now rails and panels width is 0 feet and panel count is 1 so I am going to make uh, width 1 inch and now panel count I will increase to panel count you can see and I am going to make this width as 1 inch so I'm going to make it 3 and if I'm opening this let's see there are three panels here so this is a three panel window here awning window and if you refer this image you can see this is the awning window so if you will make it one two one so if you want single only you can keep it and you can also close this and now this is the method of creating awning window we will see the next window here casement window again i am going to first define width then depth and then height and we can also define this frame width here horizontal width i am going to make it one inch vertical width also 1 inch and thickness also 1 inch and after that glazing thickness also you can define and casement panel width also I am going to make it 2 panel here you can see this is a 2 panel width if you want to make 1 you can select 1 so I am going to make 2 panel width and you can make it 1 inch and you can also open this window like this so this is the casement window 
and you can also flip swing here so it will flip so this is the method of creating casement window next we'll see fixed window and can also just define this width depth and height and you can practice this setting you can see all every tools is same here i will see these rails and panels so you can define one inch here you can take whatever you want and panel horizontal i am going to give two panel here and you want three you can select three so i will make two panel here so and panel vertical also i am going to make it two so you can see there are two panels and you can also chamfer this profile so it will be chamfered and this setting is same so now next window is pivoted window so i'm going to first define width then depth and then height and you can set this frame like this and glazing also and rails also you can do and you can also open your this window so you can see this is the pivoted window so next is projected window and again we will define width depth and height and you can see this horizontal width also you can change and increasing thickness rails and panels so middle height also you can set from height also so suppose if i'm increasing this or decreasing this you can see this is increasing and decreasing same this middle height also you can increase or decrease and you can also open this like this so this is the projected and last one is sliding window so i am going to again define width depth and height and you can set this frame here and glazing rails panels so if you want horizontal panels two numbers you can define two and if you want uh, vertical panels you can also set these vertical panels and if you want to hang windows you can select this box and if you don't want hung windows you can uncheck this so it will be sliding like this and if you want to be hung it will you will select like this and you can also open this like this one and if you uncheck this box it will be open like this so this is the method of creating windows so this was the basic uh, tutorial about how to create uh, windows in 3ds max using this window tool so this was the tutorial for today's session in the next session i will come with some more interesting topics in 3ds max morning so thanks for watching please like share and subscribe my channel bye bye